Okay, in this video we're going to do um, uh, problem six, okay, uh, of the uh, calculate deviation uh, based on data from swing in the ship. Uh, this one is probably the screwiest of the problems you'll get on the Coast Guard exam. Uh, this one is given a true heading, okay? So um, we'll start off as normal with our general computer here, okay? Get TVMDC, and I'm going to have my three rows, okay, as normal. And I'm going to start off with uh, 258 true. So that's going to go underneath the T. So there's 258, okay? And I think I've got 2 east and I've got 8 west, okay? So going from true to a compass, I subtract east. So this becomes 256, okay? Now, in the table, I've got PSC, that's this, and PGC, that's this. I don't have any true. That's why I converted this to gyro, okay? Now that I have the gyro, now I can look in the gyro column, and I'm going to look for something that's, uh, that straddles 256. So it's right here. This is my, uh, these are my pairs of data. So the PGC is 230260. So the 230 I'm going to put up here. The 260 I'm going to put there. And the, PS, uh, the PSC I'm going to put here. 239.5. And the 269 is going to go down here. 269. Okay, so that's 2 east. That's 2 east. That's 8 west, that's 8 west. Now I'm going to run this, okay? So uh, that's uh, adding, going towards true from compass. I'm going to add east, so that's 2, 3, 2. And 8 west, going towards compass, I'm going to add that. So that is uh, 2, 4, 0. And this becomes 2, 6, 2. And that becomes 2, 7, 0. So my deviation between these two is 0.5. Okay, that's 0 0.5, and that's east, okay? All right, 0 0.5 east, and the difference between these two is 1.0, and it got smaller, so that's east as well. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to do my ratios, okay? Um, so I can do, uh, uh, I'm going to set these up in a very specific way. I'm going to do A, B. I could also do this A, this B, okay? So it doesn't matter if I do this is A, this is B, or this is A, or this is B, but I'm definitely going to have to make this C, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and do this A, okay? And I'm going to make this B, okay? So let's calculate what A and B and C are now. A, B, C. A is uh, 256 minus 230, so that's 26. B is 260 uh, minus 230, so that's 30. And C is the difference between uh, 0.5 and 1. So that's going to, they're both E, so I'm going to subtract 1.0.5, that's 0.5, and it's getting bigger, okay? Because I'm going from 0.5 to 1, so I'm getting bigger. Okay, great. So, um, you know, now I can um, uh, do a, set up my proportion and uh, do this problem. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to solve this two different ways, okay? First, I'm going to just solve it, I'm going to create my little proportion, and I'm going to apply it to my deviation. And then... Uh, for those of you who don't like to do it that way, you want to you want to memorize a formula. I'm going to do it by a formula. Okay. So first thing up is I'm going to do. Um, uh, I want to know what my deviation is on this particular heading. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to uh, um, uh, figure out what that uh, difference is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, a divided by b times c, and that's going to give me the difference between uh, this number and the deviation that I'm looking for. So what is A over B times C? That's 26 divided by 30 times 0.5. And so what does that equal to? All right, so I come over here. All right, and let me clear that. So let's see here. Uh, 26, 26 divided by 30 times 0.5. And that gives me 0.43. So I'm just going to say 0.4. That's 0.4. Okay, and what that means is that that whatever this deviation here is, it's going to be 0.4 uh, greater than 0.5, okay? So, what I just calculated was this little difference here between these two, okay? And that was 0.4. So, I'm now going to apply that to 0.5. And since 0.51 is getting bigger, I'm going to add 0.5, and that gives me 0.9 east, okay? 0.9 east. So, my deviation... Okay, well, I'm sneaking off the bottom of the page here now. My deviation, okay, 
my deviation is 0 0.9 east. All right. 0 0.9 east. Okay. But if, uh, you know, if you don't really like that, you want to memorize a formula here, I'll give you a formula. Okay. Formula goes like this. Deviation for the heading of interest. Okay. And in this case, the heading of interest is going to be 258 equals the deviation from the top row. That would be 0 0.5. The deviation from the top row plus or minus A over B times C, okay? And I got to do all that there, okay? So, um, so let's go through this. The deviation, and my heading of interest is 258 true, equals deviation from the top row, okay? So that would be 0.5 east. Now I got to decide if I'm going to add or subtract. See, the trend here is my number has to be between these two, so it's going to be added to 0.5. So I'm going to go plus. Now I do my A over B. 26 over 30 times 0.5. So I get deviation for 258 equals 0.5 east plus 0.4. And that equals 0.9 east. And that's the answer.